Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is the fourth 75k tutorial. This one is about a, a haywire. A, a, this is about a haywire sound, and it sounds like this. The lead. And I've got basically this. It's kind of a cheapo, like, auto-doing version of this, because the... The overall concept is saw wave lead and formant filters or talk box kind of stuff. A talk box is actually different for vocoding, although vocoding probably could do a little bit like this, but the, just the process of vocoding at all adds a particular kind of tinge to things that isn't present in this. And that's because this is done via just regular filters. Um, in this case, I'm using Guitar Rig's formant filter and I have an LFO on the size option. And the reason for that is because the talk switches through um, Formant like vowel positions. And the size changes its its sort of its width as it impacts the sound. You can even kind of see it in the filter or the EQ at the end here. That's what it's doing. And uh that on top of higher frequency of sounds. Does that something interesting? Because if you notice what I'm doing on the bass frequency, you can see it more clearly. But when you're doing it on a higher frequency, there's not as many harmonics for it to act on, and that makes it a bit a bit of an interesting sort of application of sort of sound. And it's kind of neat. I'm doing it a bit lazily with the fact that I have just an L, like an LFO on the thing, but. Um, if you wanted to automate it individually, you could do that, or have an like, actual pedal and do it while you're playing, or like a mod wheel, like people who are keyboardists will do. Um, the actual root sound is in Harmer, and it's basically just a, su a super saw, very a very thin one. And by thin, I mean it doesn't have doesn't have the maximum amount of voices, doesn't have the minimum amount of voices, but it has a very small amount of pitch difference, which causes that sound, as opposed to that sound. And actually doing this adds a little bit of that movement to it as well because the phase cancellation of the very, very, very close pitch differences causes some phasiness in the harmonics that when also filtered adds together to create overall what this sound is. Um, I've also got legato on inside Harmer and the small amount of time because the more normal amount of time does that and like no time does that, but a little bit of time gets that. And that's, you know, fun stuff, which is all being run through the, the, the formant filter, being distorted a bit for some extra little, you know, sizzle, and then it's EQ to kind of fit the profile overall of the original sound. Oh, voila. Um, I don't know that I want to actually, I mean, this is, this is really big. I'm not going to give you like a patch because like it uses guitar rig, but like the, the fact that I'm using this thing doesn't mean that you need this thing to do that. That description I gave you of the filter, what the filter was doing, like if I if I had more time and like caring, I could have probably recreated that using filters inside a uh, macro made inside the envelope controller on an EQ or something like that. And I may one day do that just because I haven't done that before and I realized that I could and it's kind of a cool idea. But um, things like these exist and that particular sound was used, it was done using a very like obviously one of those. Um, either that or he did an extremely good job of recreating how they act. And honestly, while recreating stuff is fun, obviously, because I'm doing this, it's not, like, all that uh, efficient, you know what I mean? Especially when the stuff that doesn't already exists. Um, if you've got FM8, the talk box, the talk wall, rather, and the talk wall and a guitar rig are exactly the same. And that's because guitar rig is a native instrument plugin. But um, if you use wow filter, if you use any kind of, like, external talk box, like, I think MDA has the, the one, there's an MDA talk box. Literally any of those will get you a similar result. Uh, an actual physical talk box would be pretty badass, but uh, that's a whole different thing. Um, anyway, if you'd like to make a request for the 75k tutorials, please do so in the Reddit thread. Requests made anywhere else will be ignored. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.